pleasurable deal read this is an excerpt from the play a pleasurable deal banned in no fewer than four cities for its lewd content its scandalous nature led to a number of widely distributed and illicit uh, illicit printings so this is like the lady chatterley's lover of Thayrune, narrator Come here, fair folk, a tale ne'er lost to time. In grief, this man, well sunk to depth sublime. A gift he sought to win his lady's heart. Our campion smiled, for now the game did start. Enter Robert. Male tiefling, crying. Carlyle, stage right, flash of smoke. Carlyle. Weep not, young man, though free your wife has fled, and comfort found in comrades' arms and bed. She licks her lips and cries his name. Oh my! And now seek you to be the apple of her eye. Robert, how does a stranger know such things, I ask? Carlyle, I watch you from the shadows, and I see your shame and grief for nature's malady. You seek to win your lady and her bed, to have your name upon her lips instead. Robert, you know my curse, my pain, my grief, my woe? Carlyle, of you I know you seek a larger hoe, to plough fair maid and sow a seed to grow. But lack to ye a mighty horn and mast, <laughs> with which to guide a maid to bed and fast. Very good. Risque 